TV channel Ukraine presents. Of course, it's in their interest for you to agree to a settlement on their terms, a scandal would be more expensive. They assure me that there was no plagiarism, that some blogger stole my manuscript, and I was posting the manuscript in parts online. Now it's not about who stole it. Maybe the blogger themselves, or an ordinary editor, or even the chief editor, the fact is that the stolen text was published, your text. It's doubly offensive. They accused me of being unprofessional and then just decided to publish this blogger. Dog year. Bloggers are more popular than Hollywood stars these days. Unfortunately, why didn't I think to ask what your profession is before? And I didn't immediately realize that you were my favorite author. Sorry, I'm late. No problem, Alexandra and I were just talking. I have to go. Sasha, it was great talking to you. Likewise. Do you know each other? None of your business. Shall we begin? Yes, of course. Alexandra told me something. I was already ready to agree to a settlement. But do we not hurry too much? Igor, five missed calls. Incoming, Igor. Yes? Sasha, hello. Why aren't you answering the phone? I'll finish work in an hour. Let's meet near the office. Okay, I'll come over. Licka. And what are you doing here? Sit. Let's talk. Can we at least go upstairs? I see. By the way, about the apartment, do you know that it belongs to him and his ex-wife jointly? Where did you hear that? And anyway, who knows what people are gossiping about? Don't worry, I found out from the right source and checked, requested data from the registry and verified it myself. I don't care about that data. Maybe they're outdated. And anyway, if Kostya says it's his apartment, then it is. You should still ask him to show you the documents. Dad. You know he left his ex-wife in trouble after she got into an accident. At first, he promised to help, and then just disappeared. She's his ex for a reason. And anyway, you know if you start helping all your exes, you won't get far in life. And if you were in her place? I have to go. Hey, can we talk?
here. I wanted to tell you. I didn't know how to do it best. Why lie right away? Why can't you just be straightforward? If your wife hadn't come to this company, I would still be in the dark. I'm the one to blame. It isn't your fault. But I'm getting a divorce. Anyway, my marriage with Allah has long since run its course. And she never loved me. She got married because the clock was ticking and there were no other candidates. And now she's even decided to make money on the divorce. Sasha, I would have filed for divorce myself, but she was the first one. Perhaps I won't be able to handle this. But why? I want you to handle it. Sasha, I fell in love with you at first sight in the hospital. Please believe me. I have the most serious intentions. Igor, forgive me. I beg you, believe me. Be careful, I can't handle sudden movements right now. Sorry, let me at least help you. No need. Sasha. Yes. Excuse me for bothering you. I have a very important problem that I'd like to discuss. I'm listening. This concerns our new employee, Alexandra. You mean your ex-wife? That's the thing, unfortunately. I know her too well to not worry. Did she give you a reason to worry? Yes. How should I put it? She was flirting with my client Lapshin today. She told him that I had built the wrong defense line and generally bad-mouthed me behind my back. You know, I consider this a serious violation of corporate ethics. Did Lapshin decide to refuse your services? What? No. Then what are you worried about? I wanted to warn you that Alexandra is not exactly an honest person. And she might be playing a double game and wants to steer Lapshin towards a disadvantageous deal. Tell me, Kostya, how's your client from the film world doing, the one the film company owed money to? The company will go bankrupt, it's a lengthy process, but we've taken all the necessary measures and are waiting. So, what about Alexandra? I heard you. Time will tell who's who. Any other questions? You can go. Mom, stop it. Well, you're not the first to fall for a married man. And he's handsome, at your age. I would have fallen for him too. And then he's getting a divorce if you love him. I don't love him. I think I love someone else. Who, Kostya? Mom, what does Kostya have to do with this? Then who? 
Ilya. Ilya. The new owner of our Gerda? <laughs> Call and ask how our Gerda is doing. Mom. What's so scary about it? Maybe he likes you too. Why would he need me? You know, my dear, if a woman is loved, she is needed, along with all her problems. Too many impressions for today, afraid I won't sleep. It's okay, I'll give you some valerian drops. Hello? Nina Ivanovna, hello. This is Zabatsky calling. I still would like to invite you to have dinner with me tonight. No, it's not very convenient for me to talk right now. If it's possible, tomorrow. Okay, good night. Who was that? Someone I know. I helped him with something. And now he invited me to a restaurant. You should go. Yes. You're right. Of course. Too many impressions for one day. I'm afraid Valerian drops won't be enough. Let's have a little drink. You're so quiet today. Is something wrong? Kostya, you need to decide about the car. Two cars in the family. That's normal. Can I make two more baths just in case? Maybe you will clog the first one again. By the way, having two baths in the apartment is not a luxury anymore. Why don't you really make a second bath? It's your apartment, right? Isn't it, Kostya? Okay, why did you start this conversation? Show me the documents. What documents? For the apartment, the certificate of ownership or whatever you have. I don't understand why you're leading up to this. Kostya, show me those damn documents where it's written that it's your apartment, yours and no one else's. Of course, it's mine. Why did you suddenly start doubting that? Don't bullshit me. Show me the documents. Why should I show them to you? So you won't show them, right? That means you have something to hide, and I even know what it is. Because this apartment is yours and your ex's. What does my ex have to do with this? If you want to know, I can't show the documents because I don't have them. What do you mean you don't have them? That's it. I gave them to the real estate agency. I'm selling the apartment and their condition is that they need the original documents plus the set of keys I wanted to surprise you, but it's too late now, it won't work. So you're selling the apartment? Yes. 
I wanted us to have some money. You wanted to trade your apartment for a bigger one with a surcharge, didn't you? Please, find some options. Yes, but my father didn't even give me the keys to my apartment. I guess I was too hasty. But I wanted it to be better. Kostia. Forgive me. I behaved like a bitch. I forgive you. Just don't doubt my words so much, okay? Never. Yes, I told you this lawyer won't let you down. We have a deal. Join in. Sasha, you're just in time. Sit down. Do you want to explain what you did? I was just about to decline due to personal circumstances. What did you do that Allah's husband agreed to everything? He agrees to a divorce and to give up half of their property pre-trial. Our client doesn't understand what happened to him. And he even said that his wife found the right lawyer. Sasha, can you tell us if you have some secret technique for managing people? I think he decided to act like a man and leave his wife beautifully. Not everyone can do that. Yeah. So what were you talking about, personal matters? May I be excused for a couple of hours? It's a personal matter. You're the heroine today. You can do anything. Thank you. If I knew there were ducks here, I would have brought some bread. How are you feeling? Not very well, but I still wanted to talk to you. Sasha, Kostya says I need to agree to the publisher's compensation. The fact that they are willing to pay something is already good. I understand that you need money, but what's on the other side of the scale? They ruined your manuscript by inserting some stupid nonsense into it. Your book is a part of your soul, and everyone will be trampling on it. And what to do? First of all, refuse the global deal, and then you can think about a new lawsuit and new conditions. Kostya will be very unhappy. The main thing is for you to be satisfied. By the way, did Kostya order a stylistic expertise? No, he didn't even mention it. I beg you, Ilya, do not agree to anything now and do not sign anything. Do you promise? I promise. Sasha, can we go for a cup of coffee? We'll have one cup. Thank you, but I'm at work right now. I have to run back to the office. Will we see each other again? You know not only where I live, but also where I work. I know. Goodbye. Goodbye. Yes. Sorry. Lapshin is supposed to come to me now, but he's somehow late, and I can't reach him by phone. The film company that your client was suing has completed the bankruptcy procedure. 
since you did not take care to include the client in the register. He now has nothing to hope for. And tell me, Kostya, how much did the film company pay you to forget to include the client in the register? Surely less than what had to be paid to all creditors in the end. I have two pieces of news for you, Kostya. First, Lapchin refused your services. He just called me. And second, you don't work here anymore. You're free. Yes. Sasha, come in, sit down. Is something unclear? Sasha. Writer Ilya Lapchin is filing a new lawsuit against the publishing house, not only about financial disputes, but also about protecting his honor and dignity. He wants you to defend him in court. What do you think? But Lapshin already has a lawyer. Constantine is free now. So, what do you think about this lawsuit? I think it won't be easy. Our copyright situation is so bad that I'm afraid we'll have to look for the truth in the European Court of Human Rights. You, Sasha, will go to the European Court of Human Rights if necessary. I wish my daughter were more like you. Can I go? You may. Get up. I didn't hear you come in. I said get up. What's wrong with you, Kostya? Come here. Kostya, stop it. Come here, I'm asking you. What's this? What is this? Put your hands down. You'll leave bruises. I'll tell you what this is, Lika. This is a bad housewife. This is a slob and a clumsy person. That's all you. Want the house to be clean? Hire a maid. Want borscht? Let your hags cook it for you. They do it well. What can you do? All you do is sit in bed all day. If you're not disappearing to your workouts, your daddy bought you an expensive university degree. So I have a question for you. Why do you need it if you're not going to work anyway? Listen to me, honey, do something for this house like do the laundry while I earn money for us. By the way, we'll have difficulties with money now, because your daddy fired me. So, that's the problem. And how did you mess up now? I didn't mess up anything, my ex-wife turned him against me. Kostya. What's the name of the agency that sells your apartment? 
What agency? Lika, I'm asking you, please forgive me. I don't understand what's happening to me. I've been out of sorts all day. Please call your dad. Please call and ask him not to fire me. Listen, I'm almost done dealing with this writer. Ask him not to fire me for now. Okay, please. Hi, Dad. Dad, I'm leaving Kostia. Can I come to our apartment? No, thanks. I'll make my own way. Are you really leaving? Kostya, look at yourself, you're a mess. Dad was right. Get lost. Do you think I'll just sit here alone? Just so you know, my ex is still crazy about me. I will just snap my fingers and she'll come running like a puppy. Driver will bring my things. Don't bother calling. I won't let you come back anyway. Hello, Sasha. I want to discuss selling our apartment. Are you at home? I'll come over, yes. Can I come in? Is Nina Ivanovna home? She'll be back soon. I'm listening. You know, I almost forgot how great your figure is, even a corset doesn't ruin it. Kostia, why did you come here? Oh, come on. Can't I visit my wife? Even if she's my ex. You won't believe it, but I missed your cooking. Meatballs. Why are you getting angry? You used to love cooking for me, remember? I remember, now leave. Don't be so hard on me, really. And I wasn't planning on being a pawn for Zavadsky my whole life. Especially after he fired you. So what? I've already been offered a new position in the legal department of a publishing house. So I don't care about Zavadsky, maybe I'll even start my own firm, Konstantin and Partners Law Firm. Sounds great. Will you work for me? On favorable terms. Don't be ridiculous, I know you love me. Are you crazy or something? You never put our apartment up for sale, did you? So what if I didn't? Sue me, what? Glad I screwed up the case. Did you sleep with Zavadsky? Who needs you in your armor anyway? 
Никто, кроме тебя, в этом не... You're just a failure, Kostia. And nobody's to blame but yourself. Now get out of here. Will you regret it later? You're pathetic. Sasha, it's me. Listen, I have some news for you that you won't believe. Mom. Sasha, Sasha. Sasha, what happened? My God, where? Where does it hurt? Everywhere. Wait, I'm calling an ambulance right now. Mom, no need. It's better to call my doctor. Seems like I'll need some additional legs. My God. Well, the esteemed lawyer of the esteemed plaintiff is already a quarter of an hour late. She'll be here soon. You should not have refused our initial proposal. War is always bad. A bad peace is better than a good quarrel. I didn't start this war. But you could have stopped it. I apologize, gentlemen, for being late. There were some difficulties. Hey. Hi. Is everything all right? Yes, nothing serious. It won't affect today's meeting. Please present your view on the situation, colleague. That's why we're here, right? Certainly. Here, please, take a look. The results of the stylistic examination, which clearly confirms the fact that my client, Mr. Lapshin, is the author of the manuscript of the novel Wings. In simpler terms, this document proves that Ilya Lapshin is the only indivisible author of the manuscript of the novel Wings which you published under the name Time Loop as the work of a popular blogger, in other words. This means that no other surname but that of my principal can be on the book's title page. The publishing house is ready to sign a contract with Ilya retroactively, with all the necessary conditions as well as to pay the due royalty and a fair amount as compensation for moral damage. I'm afraid that's not enough. What? Are you serious right now? What else do you want? We want you to declare the previous manuscript falsified. That is, pirate and on this basis, withdraw all previous manuscripts from retail networks. And one more thing, a fair compensation amount. We need to take a time out and think about everything. Please. What's going on? Sasha, are you feeling okay? Sasha? Water. Sweetie, you can't drink. You are urgently operated on. Urgently? Yes. Because you could have died from the pain shock. I don't understand. There's someone waiting for you here. Can he come in? Just wanted to make sure everything is okay with you. I'm sorry, I let you down. 
No, you didn't. I called the publishing house. They agreed to all our terms. Don't say anything. Igor found out about everything from his colleagues. He called me. He's very worried about you. He's having surgery now. He said he'll call back as soon as he's done. Mom, we'll discuss this later. What are you doing here? I demand that all outsiders immediately leave the room. The patient needs a good sleep. It's the best medicine right now. I think I'll even miss it. Amazing how you can get used to the bad. Well, it's not bad. It's just the situation that you needed the corset in. I hope I won't need it anymore. Thank you so much. By the way, did anyone suffer because I was operated out of turn? No. The quota queue had nothing to do with it. Didn't they tell you that you were operated on a commercial basis? Commercial? Yes. I thought you knew that Ilya paid for your surgery. How could I know after anesthesia? Are you afraid he'll demand the money back? Of course not. It's just that he's not responding to messages or calls. And I didn't even say thank you. It's still early days. He'll call a hundred more times. Here, please help me fasten this. Are you going somewhere? Yes, having lunch with a friend. You have a new friend. So much has happened while I was in the hospital. Well, he's been around for a while. I can only call him a friend now, by the way. He also wanted to pay for your surgery, but Ilya already paid. And who is this mysterious benefactor? Here he is. Hello? Yes. I'm coming out now. He's here. Let's go meet him. Let's go. Hello, Sasha. By the way, you look very good. And I feel great too. I'm very glad you're recovering. Finish this week and let's go back to the office on Monday. Need a ride? No, thank you. I've grown fond of walking. Then see you soon. <laughs> Who's there? I'm not expecting anyone. It's you. What do you want? Drink. I said drink. Refreshed? Now look and listen carefully. This is a contract to transfer rights to a share in the apartment, which you will now sign in my favor. What? You are transferring your rights and your share in our apartment to me. I become the sole and indivisible owner. Have you gone mad? It's simple, Kostia. If you don't sign this contract now, I'll go to the police. We're based on the previously recorded beatings against you. 
a criminal case of intentional infliction of grievous bodily harm with a sentence of three to five years will be opened. Do you like this scenario? You can't be such a bitch. You can't leave me with nothing. Why with nothing? You have your favorite car. And where will I live? Where should I go now? To your parents, Kostia. As far as I remember, they have a three-room apartment. Although I don't care, sign it, don't drag it out. Excellent. You have two days to pack up and take care of professional cleaning. I want to move into a clean apartment. Sasha. Sasha. Don't you pity me at all. We're lawyers, Kostia. Pity is not our comrade. Facts and nothing but facts. I hate you. Get out of here. Hi. Hey. How did you find me? On Gerda's collar. Your old address was engraved. I called and texted you. I saw. You saved my life. I wanted to thank you. Why didn't you answer? I figured you loved someone else and didn't want to interfere. Why did you come now? Gerda misses you a lot. And I do too. I started writing a new book. I named the heroine after you. What is your book about? About space. And about love. 